Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a haul. This is a big clothing haul. If you're interested actually in seeing like a makeup, beauty, kind of PR one, then I have one that I put up about a month ago maybe, so I'll put it in a card and I'll link it below if that's your thing, but if clothes is your thing, you are in the right place today. Also, if you follow me on Snapchat, you'll know that I had the biggest drama with one of these packages, but I got all my stuff and I'm happy now. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because it stressed me out too much at the time. So I'm just going to say that was drama, so be thankful for this video. And I am going to get into it now because I've talked too much. So I'm going to be showing you things from Pretty Little Thing mainly, Misguided, and then some shoes and one thing from Zara. So let's let's show. Um, I'm just going to pick up and show you. The thing that's on the top is both of the pair of shoes, so I'm going to start with those. Um, the first pair of shoes I actually got a little while ago now, I got these for my Leavers events at the end of school, so I got them kind of the end of June, beginning of July. My hair, sorry, it's going behind here today because that's my vibe, so if it goes to the front, tell me and I'll flick it around. So these are the shoes that I bought for those events at the uh, end of June, basically. They are platform heels like this, they are I think 5 inches which is high and I can't walk in them very well, I had to like hold on to Bjorn when I was wearing these because I can't walk in them very well, I need to practice and I'm sure I'll be fine but like I'm bad with heels. They are faux suede kind of thing I think, they have a little it, it, it here and they fortunately have this bit at the back which is a common occurrence, recurring theme even with my shoes because the ones that have like the little strap and then the other strap, if I can find a picture I'll insert one like here, basically I can't wear those because my ankle is like really quite skinny at the back and so I can't I have little feet. They don't fit, that's what I'm trying to say, so these are really good because my foot doesn't like slide out of these. These were money, but I don't know how much and I will put all the links in the description you're welcome. Okay, I promise these shoes are different. These are, <laughs> they are different, look, 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 they're different shoes, okay. <laughs> I'm just telling myself as well to like make myself feel better that I bought two pairs of very similar shoes. These are again black like faux suede shoes, they are pointy though and not platform and they're four inches not five inches. Um, I just got these, I really wanted a pair of heels that I could like actually just wear if I wanted to go out in heels because I like a good old block so I can walk properly and uh, not a platform, not too high, these were the ones. Let's start this pretty little thing haul with a bang shall we? I got some of these like nipple covers, I don't, <laughs> that, like, that's literally what they are. You put them on under like tight clothes so that you don't have to wear a bra. I think it's a pack of six, um, there's black and nude which is good so there you go. Next up from Pretty Little Thing, I got this big old oversized jumper. It's absolutely enormous. It is a navy blue, really soft, like super cozy. It's kind of that, that like fuzzy, warm goodness on the inside. Um, and I'm really happy with this. It comes in so many different colors. So if you're looking for like a hoodie, just like a good old, it's not a hoodie, it's a sweatshirt. If you're looking for one, it's your girl pulling things randomly from the pile. Next I got these, <laughs> these are sexy. These are like black booty shorts, I don't know what you call them, but they're like jersey shorts basically. They're going under something else in this haul and like if I ever need to wear shorts under something, like I don't know, like a mesh or see-through or whatever, these are the ones I'm gonna wear. They are see-through, I mean I can see my camera through them, um, but they're fine because I'm, I'll just, you know, they're fine. They were really cheap, they're to go under things. And then let's find the thing. This is what they are to go under. It is this long, you're gonna see all of these things again in America, I'm just warning you now. Um, this is a long mesh with a thick band at the top skirt. It is a maxi and it has two slits up the side and this was I think like 15 pounds or something. I don't know why I'm remembering a couple of prices but not all of them. I just like distinctly remember this being 15 pounds. Shorts going under here. Do we have a, I mean, it's not really a bra, it's more like a bralette. It is a white lace bralette, like thus, but it has this really cool metal detailing. I think it's really cool. And this is basically to go under things that I want 
my like bra to be seen under so you know those tops that are like so see-through there is no saving them like there's nothing you can do to make them not see-through and at that point it's like eh, you might as well wear something like that's a statement so that at least when people look at you they're not like oh, I can see her bra they're like oh I got tangled they're like oh I can see her bra and it's cute someone call Victoria because her secret is out you know and then I also got this one, which is just a black jersey version of that, basically. It's like a triangle bra like this. It's also kind of cute just for like lounging, but it has a band, like a stretchy band. It's black, it's jersey. It doesn't have a clasp at the back. It's like a fake bra. Um, and again, that's to wear under things that there is no saving. Basically, I flit a lot between sizes because I, shops all have different sizes, which annoys me so much. There was some article I saw the other day that was like, shop sizes are like not a real thing, by the way. I was like, oh good, thanks. But the shop sizes are like not a real thing. And I've noticed they're like really difficult, especially when you're online shopping to find sizes. So. I flip between sizes, it depends on what I'm buying, what size I'm gonna get. Next up I got two things that I have to return, which I'm annoyed about, but I'd rather get my money back and buy something else better. Basically this is like a bandeau top like this, it is so 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 see-through, it was really cheap so like I wasn't expecting it to be not see-through but it's just that bit too see-through that there's no point in me having it because I was gonna wear this like under things instead of a black like bandeau bra. And I can't because it's just too see-through and it's just too thin that it just doesn't look good. So there's, it serves no purpose to me, so it's going back. And this one, another black top, which I love and I'm so gutted about. And it looks kind of shit like this, but it's a really cool top. It is like this, you see, and it's got like a tie bit. So it's like a black bandeau with a tie-up, uh, kind of silky bow thing at the front. So I thought, what size did I get this in? A 10, I think, yes. So I thought, oh, top that's gonna be like tight, it's gonna give me loads of like overroll. Basically, if I get an A, it's not gonna fit, it's not gonna look good, like I don't want it to be. You could fit another pair of boobs in this. So I was like, what is wrong with their sizes? There is something wrong with their sizes, I just don't know what size I have anymore, but I can't wear this, it's way too big. Um, so I'm gonna have to return it and it was on sale so I'm sure it's out of stock now so I can't even get my right size in this if I just remembered I actually did want to get an 8 in this I, I don't know what my decision process really is for what size I get just I just decide randomly and I was gonna get an 8 they didn't have it so I was like oh I can definitely wear a 10 no no I can't next up we're moving on to misguided this is from Misguided, this jumper here, so it's like a little cropped grey jumper. I love this, it's so 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 soft. I mean, it's not like the most expensive feeling jumper you will ever feel, but it is nice and I like it and it was not that expensive and it's cute like off the shoulder or like I like it off one shoulder. Soft grey serves its purpose jumper. So this is the first thing I got from Misguided. Next up I got this top which is just a plain old like cami crop top. It's a little bit see-through so I'll probably wear one of those like statement bras underneath it but it is cute and I like it and I really like the... it, it feels quite nice. It is quite good quality so I'm happy with that. Finally from Misguided I got these which I think I'm gonna wear to summer in the city. They are shiny 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 trousers with like a copper bronze line. I didn't realize this was like copper bronze. I thought it was white or like a different color when I bought them, so I'm kind of disappointed because it now means that I have to wear this with stuff that goes with like bronze, but it's fine. It's super stretchy at the back, so it fits fits really well, which I really like. Nice and high-waisted and little string. They're, they're like attached, they don't make it any tighter, they're just for decor. Um, and these shiny, cute, tapered in at the bottom little trousers that are very, very, like you can definitely dress those up or dress those down. I'd love to wear those with those pointy shoes that I showed you at the beginning. I think that would look really cute. Obviously not summer in the city because my feet would break, but that's what I'm probably going to wear. And I think that they're really cute. They're like a good staple. Um, I bought this whilst I was in Rome with Bjorn. And I bought this from Zara. So it is a not real leather, like a leatherette, whatever you want to call it, faux leather dress with these cute little crumpled sleeves. It is in a, 
a creamy stone kind of colour. It's like square across the front and I really like it but it wrinkles a lot so it has to stay flat or hung up somewhere um, and that's what I got from Zara. That was on sale as well so I was happy about that. So thank you so much for watching this guys, I really hope you enjoyed having a look at the stuff that I bought, hope it gave you some inspo. If you did like it remember to give it a thumbs up and I will see you very soon.